can do this. This is not going to be hard. Right? All right. Y'all like my... <laughs> All right, let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinia McKell. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today, I want to continue where I left off last month during my 25 days of content where I went through my entire do a collection and gave thoughts, current thoughts, and um, yeah, I broke, I'm breaking this down, I'm going to alphabetical order. Um, I did mention in my last birthday haul that I had a very obnoxiously huge do a haul coming and I do. Um, but I'm going to wait until I at least they haven't arrived as I'm filming this video and I want to make sure that I upload all the ones that I already have in my collection that I've smelled and it has at least has at least been sitting for a little bit before I haul that. And like I said, that hasn't even got to me yet, so we should be good. So this is my door do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my current dual collection, sans the ones that are coming. Okay. So let's try to go in alphabetical order. And just give, uh, no. I love y'all. <laughs> y'all are great. Y'all are amazing. Continuing to hold it down, engaging with the content. Um, it's just won't get better than y'all. I love y'all. Okay. Uh, her Purple Welsh C, which I just got this recently. Um, actually somebody in the, hold on. There you go. Actually somebody in the Tell the Truth and the Devil Squad told me that Duo even had this. Because I didn't think that they did. This is a dupe for Versace Dylan Purple. Okay, I like Dylan Purple. I actually bought it in the one ounce. It was a little hasty for me to do that, but it's on my current perfume tray as well, and it is finished. You'll see that in my next empties video. I like it, but the performance is she's missing a few things as it pertains to the performance. But I like the smell. And what I was saying in one of my videos, I think that was on my perfume tray where it was like colors of the rainbow, and that was my purple one. Um I was saying that although I like it, it doesn't last long enough. And I, I'm waiting for just a duo or one of the Arabian perfume girlies to drop a dupe. And somebody was like, Dua has one. It's called her Purple Welsh Tea. So immediately when it came back in stock, I bought it and I have no regrets. This will, I don't have any desire or need to repurchase the original one because the performance isn't there. It was so crazy because one time I wore it. And then within like the first, I remember I went to Speedway to get some gas and I walked inside to get like something to drink or something. And somebody was like, is that you? I smelled you all the way over there. But that was literally within the first less than an hour than when I had put the perfume on. After that, it'd be gone. <laughs> so her Purple Well Seat is a very, very, very spot on, really good dupe for Versace Dylan Purple. And if you're a person like me who likes Versace Dylan Purple, but the performance is a problem for you and you don't want to pay full price or even discounted price for something that isn't going to last this to me was the perfect option and i'm so glad y'all recommended this to me and i have no regrets it is a oh it's just a very pretty almost shampooy um a little bit floral it's just really good it, i enjoyed the original that's why i bought it but it just doesn't last this was the perfect replacement for me okay another one is hey princess sweetie and as you can see um she's still in the box because i don't know who she wants to be i don't think she knows who she wants to be this is Dua's version of Killian's princess mixed with perfumes de Mali oriana i like how they be combining their names so i think that's kind of cute i ain't gonna hold you yeah inspired by oriana by perfumes de Mali and i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess by killian so in theory I've never smelled their version of um, Oriana, so take that into, take that into consideration. But in theory, those two notes should go together well, and or those two fragrances should go together well. I don't know why it wouldn't be good, but it's in the drawer because in the box in the drawer because it's just something about it that's off. So let's see if it's changed to me at all. It has changed, but it's still not. I don't know. It's not the hybrid that I thought it would be. The first couple sniffs, it was just, there was a note in there that was real, almost bitter. Now, I just smell primarily the Oriana DNA. Like, it's clearly in that kind of love, don't be shy, Oriana vibe. I'm, I'm not getting any of the 
princess in it. It's definitely changed since I've let it sit. So I'm just going to continue to let this sit. And this one is, is $60. You can get a lot of duos for $33. This one is $60. So this is not going to be on my recommendation list as of right now because it's still... She's still figuring out who she want to be. She still don't know. So, and as of right now, because I'm smelling so much of Oriana, I'm like, you might as well just buy their dupe of Oriana versus buying this. I would love for this to eventually come together and give me a really good hybrid of Princess and Oriana. I would love that. But she's not that right now. Still potential. We're still gonna, we're gonna put her back in the drawer, but yeah, she's not. I mean, it went from being bad to now just being okay. So there is progress. Oh, holiday vanilla. What? Holiday vanilla delight. Okay, and this is one of those perfumes that's gonna cause me to never beat the vanilla girly allegations. I have been accused several times of actually being a vanilla girly, and I don't know why. I don't know why. But then I be going crazy for this, and I be like, I'm never beating the allegations. Never. <laughs> so, first of all, that's how much I have left. I do have a backup bottle of this. I think this is probably one of the first duos that I bought a backup of. And I'm going to get another one. This is their version of Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath Mighty Works. Which I don't think I've ever owned Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath Mighty Works. Because it just never... I don't know. It just didn't do nothing for me. But something about being offered in a perfume. I was like, this might hit on something. <sighs> Listen, this is, if you're going to turn a, a body mist into a perfume, this is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. And when this gets on your skin, it just marries with my skin so beautifully. I don't, I just love this so much. And it's not beast mode, but it is, it lasts a long time. And it sits closer to the skin for sure. But you get oh, that marshmallow in there is so good. Is there marshmallow in here? Because I smell a little bit of marshmallow. It's just like they took all the notes and blended them together and made them so smooth. So smooth. And I've said this before. I don't know why. If you've ever smelled the Billie Eilish body spray from the Billie, the first one from Billie Eilish, the body spray. If you smell it, you know the body spray smells a little bit different than the perfume. It's there, but the, the body spray just got a little extra something to it. It's like, that's how this smells to me. I don't know, y'all. I love this so much. A vanilla, sweet buttercream, caramel, benzoin, chocolate, musk, and sugar cookie. Oh, it's the sugar cookie. I'm always going to say, if you love the way um that Amber Namat perfume oil smells I feel like you'll be you'll love this I just I can't get enough it sits closer to the skin but it makes you want to draw in and be like what is that what I am obsessed with this and I understand this does not help my case against beating the vanilla girly allegations I understand that but I'm willing to take the L I love this so much I am obsessed this bottle is 1000% going to be done before this year is up. My other bottle will be in effect and I'm going to get another one. Ooh! It's just that good. It is just that good. It really is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They took the foundation. I'm going to stop talking about it. But it's just so good. I love it. Okay. This is Hug of Flowers. And I am still... I'm figuring her out. So when I first hauled this, and I'm trying to see what this is. Bora Bora by Giardini di Toscana, which is the same people that made Bianco Latte. So when I first sprayed this on the tester strip, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like just jasmine on steroids. Like heavy, heavy, um, like gardenia jasmine type of smell. Just like on steroids. I'm like, I like jasmine. I like gardenia, but this is like overkill. This is like too much. Then I sprayed it on my skin. And I was like, whoa. 
there's like this warm, creamy sweetness. Like what? I'm so confused. And so I read a lot of the like, nope. I mean, the did I read reviews? I think I read reviews on the website. And it was like, it does take you kind of on a journey. It starts off very heavy on the jasmine, but then it kind of transitions into something. I'm still struggling. I'm not, is it struggling the right word? Yes, I'm still struggling because I do, when I spray it, I've worn this a couple times. We got a little bitty dent because I'm still trying to let her come into fruition. But like when I spray, I do spray heavily and I get that heavy overdose of jasmine. They made something called like jazz meloctone or something, which is like a chemical child. Somebody told me what it was. I forgot. When, when perfumes start being like a science project, I'm all set. Don't give me too much. Girl, why are you looking for? You already on the page. Tiari flower, jasmine, ylang ylang, apricot, coconut milk, white musk, jazz, malactone, vanilla, white musk, caramel, and amber. It's basically like a synthetic made version of jasmine or something like that. Um, which is why I think it gets such a heavy dose of that. Or a, a mix between jazz. Okay, so this says a very rich and natural floral lactone. A floral jasmine petal-like character with a delicate fruitiness reminiscent of peach, apricot, and coconut milk. It's used in luxury perfumer for reconstitutions of white flower for ambery notes and to give facets to a tea note. That's what it's saying. That was with like different websites. But it's basically a, seems like a, a chemical man-made thing to make whatever. <sighs> That's the only, I get the heavy jasmine, but I'm not getting the dry down with the creaminess enough when I wear it out in the day is what the problem is I know that it's there but I don't get that when I wear it throughout the day so I'm still figuring her out sitting letting I'm I'm probably gonna spin the block well we'll see because I like a good winter floral and the way how heavy that jasmine is makes me feel like it would do great as a winter floral but then how smooth and creamy the dry down is makes me be like I don't know but it's kind of been, been getting lost either way when I wear it so I don't know I'm still figuring her out. I would recommend sampling. Oh, let me make sure I say that. There are people. This sticker is not on right. And it's going to bother me. There are people who decant um, do us so that you can get samples instead of blind buying the full thing. The girl I use, her name is Sasha. That's the only person I've ever bought from. I will put her Facebook down in the description box. So that if you want to place the order, she's got like, I promise it's probably like over 200 cents. And everything I wanted to try, she had. So that's who I went with. But, um... I, that's why I would recommend sampling. I've also never smelled the original, so I can't confirm if it smells like the original. But that's what I have to say. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still figuring her out. Marshmallow Dream, and this I believe is a Dua original. Um, this is, it is a marshmallow scent. There is something that is, um, almost like a heavy cream about it. That sometimes I'm not in the mood to wear. A lot of people compare this to the Kais perf Perfumes. The Letizia de Marshmallow. Which I kind of get the resemblance. But they're not the same. And the reason I know they're not the same is because. I reach for that Letizia de Marshmallow anytime, anyplace, anywhere. I'm halfway done with that bottle. When I'm done I will repurchase. It's just an easy wear. It's long lasting. It's not beast mode but you can definitely smell it. It's I can throw it on with anything. I have to be in the mood for Marshmallow Dream because there is a heavy, a heavy cream to it that sometimes is a little too much for me. Oh, yeah, I just, ooh, hold on. I gotta sneeze, but I don't want to come out. I don't even smell it no more. Sometimes you gotta be careful with these doers. Yeah, it's not, they're not the same to me. I mean, if you have the marshmallow perfume from Kais and you're satisfied, do you need to go and get this? No, if vice versa, if you have marshmallow dream and you're satisfied, do you need to go get Kais perfumes? No, but I still don't think they're the same thing. Um, this is just a more heavy, darker marshmallow. It's still sweet, but just very heavy. Yeah, whipped cream, sugar, marshmallow, vanilla, and steamed white milk. It's that steamed white milk. That steamed white milk makes all the difference. Okay. This is 
Milky Licious, which is their version of Blanche Beck from Liquid Imagineer. As a person who's still figuring out, is that video going to go up before or after this one? I don't know, but I filmed a layering combos video. Of, I'm talking about some combos that I wore recently, and one of them featured Blanche Bat. I need to still smell them side by side to figure out if I think they're one to one as far as Milky Licious to Blanche to the original. Um, oh look how dark this is. The juice has gotten. Ooh. Um, I probably only should have sprayed one. This is it. Even I haven't smelled it side by side, but just from what I'm smelling, this is it. Because I'm still having that same problem with the complexity of finding it really, really, really beautiful, but also kind of getting a mothball vibe, but then also feeling like it's for a woman of a certain age. Like, I'm still equally as perplexed with this as with the original. It will suffice, it suffices for now as the original to Blanche Bed. Once I wear them more, I might feel differently. I might feel like I eventually would need the actual real thing. But as of right now, it suffices, especially for someone who was a little bit scared still to wear this out. Um, I still haven't worn this by itself. <laughs> Every time that I've worn it, it's only been a few sprays layered with a ton of other things because I'm still afraid of that mothball kind of vibe and I'm afraid of smelling too mature. Um... But I think it's safe to say if you like the original Blanche Bet, then you will like this. Because it's, even if it's not 100%, it's already over 95% there. Like, there's no way you like the original and don't like that. It's just not possible. Okay, Nutty Creamy Caramel. This is Dua's version of Sharosa 62, if I could find it. And I actually think this is really good. So I do know they have... Charles 62, that's the one they did actually make it in a perfume. And I've been tempted a couple times to buy it, especially during the Sephora VIB sale and the 20% off. But, um, I like this so far. I think they did a good job of recreating what 62 smells like. And if you feel like, although 62, the body spray actually lasts on me a very long time. Um, I can easily, with no problem, get 8 hours out of the body spray with no problem. So 62... It's cool. I don't have no problem with 62. I don't have no problems with performance. But if you want something that's a little bit stronger or you just prefer or like to have it in a perfume version, this is really good. They did a good job capturing the notes and turning the body spray into a perfume, which there are some of them that they did not do a good job. So I can't say that about all of them. But this is one of the body sprays that they actually, to me, did a really good job capturing the essence. And this is another one. I feel like if you like 62, you would like this. And I actually... um. Do I recommend? I think I do recommend this. Like, even if, or even if you're somebody that's like, you like how 62 smells, or Charosa, if you like how 62 smells, but you can't grasp the con grasp the concept of spending that much money for a body spray, this is a good alternative. This is $33. Even with the house sale or a discount code, this is $33 for a one ounce perfume, as opposed to paying $24 for a... What ounce is it? I don't know what ounce. But at least you're getting it in a perfume for less than $40. So I do recommend this. I do think it smells like the original. I do think they did a good job. Okay, Oasis of Exotic Fruits. I don't think I've worn this. Have I? I, I must have worn this because I got a little dent in it. Um, This is a dupe for... Is it Narcotica? Did I make that up? It's by Narcotica. It's called Narco Oasis. Passion fruit, black currant, blood orange, peach, pear, jasmine iris, jasmine, iris, vanilla, brown sugar, tonka bean, blonde woods, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, and amber. How do I feel about this? I don't remember. I think the peach in here I really, really liked. That completely missed the tester strip. Mmm. This smells like a peach and like tea. There's like a Almost like a syrupy peach tea. Wait a minute. This is really, this is, this one got good. What's the, what did I just read? I don't see tea in one of the notes, but this reminds me of like a heavy, a heavily, what? A heavy syrup, fruity drink. Like a, like a, a mixed berry peach tea with a lot of the syrup in it. 
this is good. This is really fruity. I do smell something that smells floral. That must be like the jasmine and the iris that I'm getting. This is good. Now, I don't know if I see myself getting anywhere out of this in this cold weather. I feel like back around in the summertime, she might shine. But I don't know. But we, you, you never know. This might hit with bitter peach from Tom Ford. Although I have the perfume, I have the perfume oil. I can see the perfume oil and this going really, really good together in the cold weather. I'm excited to wear more of this. This is good. I've never smelled the original. But, um... It, it was already... I think I liked it when I first got it, but it's didn't change. It's still got strong... It's a, like... It's like a... A heavy... Almost syrupy. Kind of heavy fruit smell. I like it. That's good. Paradise Leisure. I have not smelled the original, but... Somebody did send it to me, so coming soon, I'm going to do a video going over a lot of samples. Um, and somebody did send me a sample of Paradise Leisure so I can know if I want to buy the original thing. Um, but that's what I was using this for, too, to figure out if I want to purchase the original. So this is Leisure in Paradise from Simone Andrioli. That came out so smooth. Let me check before I get the line. Yes, Leisure in Paradise by Simone Andrioli. Coconut, vanilla, papaya, pineapple, and woody notes. So what I smell here, I like, but it's not making me feel like this would be like a niche perfume that I should pay niche prices for. It's feeling like a really, really nice body spray. A really, really nice, but I'm not going to judge it yet because I haven't smelled the original until I open that box and smell the original. I'm a reserved judgment. I like it. Don't get me wrong, but... If you're telling me this is what the original is giving, and I know that bottle is like $190, I don't know. It's a cute, tropical little scent. Cute, this could easily be a Bath and Body Works. That's how it smells to me now. I haven't smelled the original, but what it's giving out is just a really nice, like, oh, okay, Bath and Body Works put out a real nice scent. That's tropical, like, that's what it's giving. I like it. I don't, I'm sure I only paid $33 for it, maybe less. So I, I appreciate and love it for that. But I we got to see what the original is hitting up. But it's a nice, cute, tropical, fruity scent. Woo Child. Pineapple and Cream Filling. This is another one. In the box. Unfortunately, I didn't watch Just Plain Jane's video until after I had already ordered this. And she very distinctly expressed how, how not good this was. But I had literally just bought it a couple days before that video went up. And I was like, dang, like, <laughs> I already bought it. So I was like, well, let me smell it. This is another one that is a do original, which let me just say, you really, really, really have to be careful with the do originals because it's, it's, they like 50-50, honestly, with the originals. They do a better, a better job with their interpretations of, scents that are already established but when it's their turn to create original scents you really like i am at the point now <laughs> i if if i had to choose between sampling an original or sampling a dua version or sampling an original or a dupe i'm going to sample the original first because it's like sometimes they need more guidance when they're creating these things it's like almost it's like they need the structure from already existing fragrance to get it right sometimes they be real and it's like even what they say it is the descriptions don't be matching up so that's one thing i've learned you got to be very even more careful with the originals than with their dupes anyway this is supposed to be pineapple and cream filling pineapple nor cream nor filling has entered the chat none of them are anywhere to be found Woo. okay pineapple is there let me not lie. Pineapple's there. But as far as a cream filling type of scent, no. This is like, it's like pineapple. You could have very easily convinced me that this was a new Arabian pineapple scent. I would have been like, oh, okay. Yeah, that tracks. It's like a heavy, almost musk in here. Um, it, it has that Arabian perfume DNA and pineapple. This is not pineapple cream filling at all. Whatever pineapple cream filling is supposed to be, it's not this. It has gotten better since I let it sit. And I could wear, I can wear this. I will wear this and I will finish it. 
but this is not pineapple cream filling no way no way. <laughs> like this is not what pineapple cream filling is supposed to smell like also i don't know if nobody ever told you but their search engine is actually terrible within the website so sometimes you have to just type in google what you're looking for and then type in do it and it'll come right up but for some reason within the website the search engine is just terrible it's not good um, juicy can pineapples, crushed pineapples, cream, vanilla cream, vanilla extra, and pineapple whoop. No way. No. Mm -mm. That's not what this is. Mm -mm. It's almost like a pineapple soap. I'm not going to say soda because I'm from the Midwest. It's almost like a pineapple pop that has went bad. Like overly fizzy. It's just, it's not, it's not what it's supposed to be. If they had called this pineapple musk. I would be like, okay, but pineapple cream filling, they're supposed to be vanilla and extra. I, I can't give you that. Mm -mm, not right now. I am going to put this back in the box. I ain't going to hold you. We probably won't revisit till like next spring till the weather breaks again. But, uh, yeah. Princess, princess. This is their version of Killian's princess. Um, the notes are there. That's what I'll say for princess, princeless princess. The notes are there. But as of right now, if you were expecting, there's still something that makes it distinct that this is not a niche creation. As in like the blend of all the notes together. Um, if you're a person that just likes Princess and you're like, I'm cool as long as the notes are there, then I think this is a good alternative. But as for me, the person who kind of had their own journey with the original, but then came to kind of like really like it and really appreciate the, how... I thought I was going to be okay with settling for a really good dupe of Princess. I really did. Once I got this, I was like, the notes are there? It's, it's It has gotten better, though. It has gotten better. I've had this for several, for quite a few months now. So I think that's the trade-off. Which, in, to be fair, though, I didn't love Princess at first. It took me a couple, a couple months with Princess, too. But... Once it finally came together, I was like, no, this is really pretty. There's like a really just smooth creaminess. I'm, I don't want to say creamy, but other, there was just, the blend was so smooth. It was like, this is kind of good. Having that said, I did eventually buy the original and I've got it for $100, so I ain't complaining. <laughs> but this is a good alternative. Be okay with letting it sit for a couple of months to come together. Once it finally does come together, it will suffice. If you're, if you're not a person who just needs to have the original, this will suffice. But I'm glad I do have the original. But if I didn't, this, <laughs> this would still be okay. Puffle Tuft. Okay. I ain't been showing no pictures. I don't even know why I'm showing it now. This is my dent. Um, I already have a backup bottle on the way. This is good. It's long lasting. It's a compliment getter. What had happened was, I feel like I should save this. I ain't going to ask the question. I ain't going to tell the origin. Well, I can. I smelled. Somebody has sent me the, the original, a sample of the original Hufflepuff. And in that same video, somebody else has sent me a sample from Dua, which was Puffletuff. And since I had smelled them side by side in that same moment, I said, oh, Puffletuff is the same thing. This is, so, it's good. It's long lasting. It's a compliment getter. Um, it goes well with so many things. If you're going to give me a lemony, cakey type of smell, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Um, this has been a love from first sniff. Um, yeah, I have a backup bottle on the way for a reason. <laughs> oh, let me not spray over there. My juice is over there. This is good. I, if you like lemon, if you, if you like if you like Forever Move Hard to Get, if you like that lemon Capri, lemon in a bottle, Capri in a bottle, lemon sugar from Kayali, if you kind of like the dry down of the Cirque du Soleil, I think you would like this. It's really good. I enjoy this. Um, and the last, Puffle Tuft White Milk. I have not worn this yet. I don't believe out. Um... I don't really remember. I think I was waiting on the blend on this one to come together too. Because I think one took over the other. Let's see. 
it's just okay. Okay. Yeah, white milk took over. I'm waiting for Puffle Tuff to show up to the conversation. Yeah, this is still, she's still coming together. As of right now, I'm, I'm feeling like I could just combine Puffle Tuff and white milk. It's not feeling like a, it's not feeling like a must have. If you really want a hybrid right now, I'm feeling like just go ahead and layer Bianco Latte with Puffle Tuft. Or if you have original, whichever, vice versa, just layer them together. This is not feeling like a necessary hybrid as of right now. But that's everything. That's from what? The last letter I finished was G. So that was H through P. And then there'll be one more, and then I'll be current, at least with everything that I've already opened, and then we'll have a haul. But as you can hear my nose <laughs> from smelling all this stuff, it's out of commission. Um, but yeah, so wherever you are with your duas, wherever your journey is, if you have any of these, hate, love, let people know in the after party so they can make an informed decision. Again, <laughs> when they say do as I say, not as I do, I do encourage sampling. All, all the duos are not a hit. Um, some of them some of them are a miss. It is subjective. So I do encourage sampling. I, I don't feel as bad about it when they're $33 or less. Like, I've spent more or less for sure. So for some of the $33 ones, if you want to take a gamble, I don't think it's the end of the world. But, like, buy multiples of them and stuff. Sample first because they're not all great. Um... But yeah, that's all. Head over to the after party. Let the people know what you think. Which ones are your favorites. Which ones you didn't like. Which ones came around. But it took a very, very long to happen. A very, very what? A very, very long time to happen. Let the people know. I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Oh. <laughs> I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. My hands are full of perfume. Bye. <laughs>